we're the Duke family. A few weeks ago, we took a DNA test, and today we're back because we got the results in. We're extremely excited today because we're going to look at the results and check out everything about us. Duke family, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jan, I'm the lead scientist at CRI Genetics, and I'm here to share with you your results for your genetic tests. So, okay. are we excited? Yes. 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 Great. Yes. You mentioned that you have allergies. Well, yeah, Tanner does. Oh, yeah, I have allergies. He has uh, all kinds of food allergies. One of the reports that I like to look at when we're talking about allergies is the C-reactive protein report, because C-reactive protein is involved with inflammation. So if you mm. have low C-reactive protein, it means that you're less likely to have um, inflammatory episodes. You can see a lot of stuff. Yeah, there are a lot of reports here. So it looks like you do have higher levels of C-reactive protein. So that would make sense with your increased allergies. Why don't we take a look at some reports relating to recovering from injuries. I'm sure you get a lot of bumps and bruises <laughs> and uh, strains from ice skating. Faster healing times. Oh, yes, it looks like you are likely to experience faster healing times based, based off of your genetics. Oh, wow. Let's see what type of athlete you are. It looks like based off your genetics, you are likely to be a power athlete. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, that explains a lot. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that really does, actually. For like you. the jumps on the ice and stuff. So why don't we take a look at famous people? Oh, we can do famous people? That's cool. That's cool. The famous people is based off of your maternal heritage. Okay. And so it looks at your uh, mitochondrial DNA. It looks like you are related to Otzi the Iceman. Uh, he was uh, a mummy that was discovered. Ice uh, skating. In ice. <laughs> yeah. He lived over 5,300 years ago, wow. and uh, he's one of the oldest uh, mummies to have ever been discovered. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now for uh, mom, I know that you are concerned about your long-term memory, perhaps, yes. because you have some relatives who uh, have experienced uh, memory loss. Right, my mom and my grandma. We do have a long-term memory report. So mm -hmm. This will tell you um, whether you are likely to have enhanced long-term memory or if you are maybe deficient or, or normal in long-term memory okay. enhancement. Let's look at long-term memory. Oh, well, it looks like based off your genetics, you might have actually it's enhanced long-term long memory. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's really cool. <laughs> that is such a relief. That's actually amazing. <laughs> it looks like you really looked out on that. Oh, my gosh. So I know. Wow, that, that's awesome. And a lot of the reports we're developing currently are about mental health and about how you deal with social situations. Mm -hmm. So we're really exploring a lot of interesting avenues. Oh, it's amazing that you can even do this. Thank you. Yeah, what you've done is, is absolutely incredible. Yeah. We really appreciate it. I would definitely recommend taking a DNA test. The wealth of information is, is incredible and you just can't learn too much about yourself, that's for sure. If someone were on the fence regarding a DNA test, I would tell them, hands down, you should do it. And just looking at the information, there's so many things that I'm like, wow, I did have that question too. And wow, I never thought about that. That totally is gonna benefit me. And just all the wealth of information that is so beneficial in so many ways for our family, for me, for my health. Um, I was kind of just blown away.